I can't hear anything in the preview. Is there something wrong with me? Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik. I'm holding it down one more time for PinnacleStudioPro.com. If you bring your video clips into Pinnacle Studio and they have no audio, there's a few settings that you can check on the program and in your computer to go ahead and get that problem fixed. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that using Pinnacle Studio 19, but you can use these tips in any version of Pinnacle Studio. Let's get into it. In order to make sure that we have audio in all of the files that we preview in Pinnacle Studio, we gotta check a lot of things. I have Windows 7. I don't have Windows 10, I don't have Windows 8.1, and I don't have Windows 8. So, I'm gonna navigate through to find these different options and show you where to go using Windows 7. If you got a different version of Windows, then you're gonna have to figure out how to get to these locations on your own, but at least you'll know what locations to look for. Before I get started, I wanna remind you of a few things. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, Make sure that you click on that. It tells other people that the content in my videos are good. Comments. You leave me comments, I'll give you answers. If I don't have the answer, because I don't know everything, then I'll point you in the right direction to get the help that you need. And last but not least, subscribe. If you subscribe to the channel, then you can go ahead and set up your preferences so that you know every time that I upload content to YouTube so you won't be missing out on any of this Pinnacle Studio love. Let's make it happen. First thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that the audio for the rest of the computer is good. So what you wanna do is you wanna go down to your system tray and you want to left click on the speaker icon. This will bring up your volume. You wanna left click on this volume and move the slider up until you reach an audible level. And you should hear a nice crisp sound as you move it. This means that your system has audio. If you see this all the way down at the bottom on zero, you're not gonna hear anything. Also, if this is muted, you will see that you have a, a no symbol here and you need to click on this little volume or speaker to make sure that your system audio is not muted. So I'm gonna move this up to a level that I like. All right, we're good to go. We know we've got sound on the system. Now we need to make sure that the default sound playback device is correct. So in order to do that, you wanna to go to your start menu, go to control panel, And then I'm gonna to go to hardware and sound. And in the sound category, I'm gonna click on manage audio devices. Now here, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that either your speakers or your sound card is listed as the default device. You see that my Scarlett uh, 2i2 USB is listed as my default device. And if the default device is wrong, then you wanna click on what should be the default device. Then you wanna click on set default. Then you wanna go ahead and click on okay. Now that we got that set up, we know that our system audio is on, we know we got our default device set up correct. Now, if we still don't have any audio in Pinnacle Studio, then we need to find out if the application volume for Pinnacle Studio is turned off. Sometimes that's turned off and people aren't aware of it. So, we wanna make sure that Pinnacle Studio is open and running, and I have it open and running on my system right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. So now I'm gonna go back down to the system tray and I'm gonna right click on the speaker icon. 
and I'm going to go to Open Volume Mixer. Now here you see all of the programs that I have open, you see the windows I have open, you see everything. And here's Pinnacle Studio. So now you can see here under Pinnacle Studio that the volume is actually on. If the volume was all the way down, then we'd know that the volume is off and we would need to raise it to an audible level. And also, we would be able to tell here if Pinnacle Studio is muted, you would see that it has the no symbol on it and we'd want to remove that by clicking on it. And right now, at this time, we can tell that Pinnacle Studio program does have the volume on, it's not muted and it's at an audible level. So we are good to go with that as well. If the volume still isn't on, we need to check the volume levels in Pinnacle Studio. So I'm gonna open up Pinnacle Studio again and we're gonna go to a few different options on here. Underneath the preview window, you'll see that there is a speaker icon and then a drop down carrot. If the speaker icon here is orange, that means that your sound is muted. So click on that to make it white. Also, if you click on this drop down carrot, you'll see that you have a slider that you can move to adjust the audio. Make sure that the audio slider is not at the bottom. Make sure that it is somewhere where your volume will be at an audible level. Now, when you're in a timeline view like I am, there's gonna be a speaker icon next to each track. And then there's also a speaker icon above all of the tracks. If this speaker icon above all the tracks is orange, then all of your tracks are muted. So you need to click on that so that your tracks are not muted. If any one of these individual speaker icons have this little red line through it, then that means that that track is muted and you won't be able to hear anything on it. So you need to click on the speaker icon so that that little red mark is not going through the icon and you know that there is now um, audio on that track. So on the toolbar, there is also a audio mixer button. If you click on this audio mixer button, you need to make sure that the master volume dial on each track is at an audible level. So basically you want to make sure that this one here is turned up so that you can hear it. Also, you want to make sure that the green dial that really is for wherever the playhead is at, unless you wanted it muted at the position where the playhead is, make sure that you adjust this dial so that the volume could be heard as well. So let's go ahead and close this up. If you're using Pinnacle Studio Plus or Pinnacle Studio Ultimate, the volume of each clip can be adjusted. So in Pinnacle Studio Plus and Ultimate, you have this volume keyframe button. Make sure that this button is orange. If it's white, click on it with your left mouse to make it orange. And now you can actually move the volume line in each one of your clips to raise or lower the volume. So you'll see here in this clip, the green line is at the bottom, which means that it's not gonna be audible. If I left click, hold down my mouse, I can raise this to make the volume audible. You can also click on it to bring it back down. So check on each clip, make sure that the green line is at an audible level. Now if we still have no audio, in Pinnacle Studio, after all of that, then you need to make sure that if you have any other uh, media playing software open, you close it. It could be a possibility that that other media software has control of your sound card and studio's locked out. So make sure that you close out any other media playing software. If none of that still works, then we need to go ahead and check on our sound card drivers or our audio drivers and make sure that they're up to date. So this is something that you're gonna have to figure out. 
with the manufacturer of your sound card, but I'll show you how to get to the information you need. So let me go ahead and minimize studio. And what you need to do to figure out your sound card information is you need to go to start, computer, system properties, and device manager. Under device manager, you want to go to sound, video, and game controllers. You can double click on that and then select your sound card. Once you select your sound card, you can double left click on that. And then you want to go to your driver tab. And under the driver tab, you'll find a manufacturer listed under driver provider and then the date that the of the driver, which mine was like 2009. Guess mine's up to date. Now, last but not least, if you update your sound card driver, you did all that stuff and you still have no sound, then you just need to check your audio connections. Now, the first thing that I would do to test your audio connection is connect some headphones to your computer and then play the clips in Pinnacle Studio. If you can hear the clip in Pinnacle Studio through the headphones, then that means that there's something wrong with your speakers or the connection for your speakers. Even if something else is playing, there still could be something wrong with the connection for Pinnacle Studio. And that's it, people. That's how you check and fix the audio in Pinnacle Studio when you don't have any sound playing in your clips in Pinnacle Studio. All right, guys, you know the routine, the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it, show the thumb some love, people. Comments, leave me comments, I'll give you answers. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And last but not least, you gotta subscribe. If you want to be able to see chunky, funky goodness like this on a regular basis, you gotta subscribe so that you know every time that I upload a video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.